our people heard that and heard the Bible. They ask about things, but when they get the answer, they really don't want to change. Right. Now we want them to, but she says she's not ready. What if God say today is the day? Right. Why ain't that enough? She is at all praises that you would say that she is lost. Do you understand what he just said? All right, I got you. Go to hold that Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10. I'm gonna show you because you believe in Christ. All right, so what we was doing back then before, we used to have to sacrifice for the different sins that we committed. Now, some sins, the sacrifice was literally you or myself. If I broke the Sabbath back then, we were stoned to death. If a person committed adultery, they were stoned to death. It wasn't an animal or a sacrifice you could give to give that person redemption or repentance. You see what I'm saying? So it's certain things that we could not do under that law, which was the law of Moses or what they called the law of the sacrifice, right? So now we're gonna read in Hebrews 10 where Christ, but we were told not to do that no more. Let's get it, Hebrews 10, right quick. Read one again, because I want her to understand this before you leave, go ahead. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse one. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. So whenever we sacrificed year by year, we had to do this every year. It would never make you perfect with God. Never. Because it was never supposed to. It was only happening for a specific reason. How you doing, mother? Watch this right here. Read on. Because we're reading about the law of sacrifice. My sister asked about the law of sacrifice and about the offerings and things we used to do. We're reading in the New Testament where we were told not to do that no more. Go ahead. For then, would they not have ceased to be offered? Because that what? Because that the worshipers, once purged, should have not had no more cons conscience of sin. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sin every year. So with those sacrifices, you remember your sin every year. So now we'll say, well, we're forgiven, right? We can ask for forgiveness and repent, right? But how? Watch this. Go ahead. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sin. It's not possible. So today we're not supposed to do that. Read on down. Watch this. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. When he, who came into the world again? Jesus Christ, go ahead. He saith, sacrifice and offerings thou wouldest not. Thou know we will continue to do that. Thou wouldest not. Stop. Don't do that no more. Right. That's what he just said. Right. Thou wouldest not. Read that verse again. That's see. Wherefore, when he comes. The he is Jesus Christ. When he comes into the world. And we all know he came. He lived and he died. And then he rose on the third day, right? We all know that happened. What did he tell us to do? When he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offerings thou wouldest not. Stop sacrificing animals. No bull and goat can give you forgiveness of sin. It's not going to make you perfect with God. That's what he's telling us. Go ahead. But a body has thou prepared me. But a body, because he was the body that was sacrificed, right? Go ahead. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. So God ain't got no pleasure in that. That's what that's talking about. So yes, we used to do that under Moses. Now under Christ, we are not supposed to do that. So a question for you, a question for you. If you're found in sin when Christ come back, what is the judgment? No, 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 we'll take him back one minute. I will. I want to, because I know she got to go. I'm going to read it for you again. But I want to ask her a question. I'm going to ask you too. If Christ comes back and he finds us in sin, what's the judgment? Bring it out. Huh? There is no judgment? Is there? Yes. There's going to be a judgment day, right? What are we getting judged by? Our faith. Now, if you have faith in getting to heaven, do you have to show it? All right, now how do we show that we got faith to get to heaven? Living by the commandments, right? I'm going to show you something.
give me, go to Zechariah. No, Deuteronomy 22, 5. I'm going to show you something. Bring it up! Because what we, what we do, or what, we, what we're talking about, back then they could sacrifice for certain sins. Today, you are the sacrifice. Right. If you don't fix it, and if I don't fix it, yeah. we burn forever. Right. Right. It's not, we're not going to be to judgment day and stand before the Lord and nothing's going to be we're not going to have a criteria to meet. The Bible will be there. Right. And your book will be there on right. what you did with your life. Right. If you follow the commandments or not. So I'm going to give you one. Watch this. And I'm going to show you so you can fix it. Go ahead. Hold on, sis. Watch, watch, watch. Now, I answered your question because I wanted you to know. But my job is to help save your life. Am I supposed to just allow my people just to sin and don't say nothing? No, that's not how we're supposed to do. Watch this. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. What do women wear today that men that belongs to men? Pants. Yeah. So in the Bible there is a judgment where it says that Christ is coming to punish everyone that is dressed out of order. So if you want to get the kingdom of heaven and you have faith that he's coming back to save you, what must you do? Stop wearing what? And wear dresses and skirts. Now, those are leggings. Maybe I'm not ready to accept Now, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? You're 34. Now, what is the average lifespan of black people? Almost 70 years, right? That's some of us. But we have many car accidents. We have many random bullets in our neighborhoods. Right. We have many cancer and diseases, heart disease and everything else. Right. You go to the doctor, you got heart, you, you have do you have any heart conditions like high blood pressure, stuff like that? Right. Not yet, right? Right. Huh? I'm healthy. You're healthy. So now, what if anything could happen and you literally flee and have a car accident? What happens then? Right. What happens? What do we answer for? Huh? Why? Are you, all right, so our people, so now mother, now our people heard that and heard the Bible. They ask about things, but when they get the answer, they really don't want to change. Right. Now we want them to, but she says she's not ready. What if God say today is the day? Right. Why ain't that enough? She is, all praises that you would say that she is lost. Right. We didn't say it, you said it because we all understand in the Bible, she is lost. That's right. Because she does not want to obey, she's not ready. Mind you, AIDS ain't ready neither, but it always find our people. How y'all doing, family? My brother right here. Y'all come up and talk to us for a minute. Hey, I got a question for you. What's your nationality? I got to go from Puerto Rico. Huh? From Puerto Rico. You're from the tribe of Ephraim. You speak English pretty decent, okay? All praises, all praises. Now, I want to go back to the scripture you asked about, Hebrews 10. And I'm going to show you something. This is something that, that your people used to do too. Y'all were the first people in America. Y'all were the first ones to come to America. They killed 77 million and then they brought us over. And we're the same people. You're just from a different tribe, but we're of the same nation. You're from Ephraim, I'm from Judah. I think somebody out here is from Benjamin, somebody out here from Gad. Oh, this brother, now he Gad now. Now he, because Native American Indians, they're from the tribe of Gad. They're not. Their real name is not Native American Indians. Your real name is not Richport, which is what Puerto Rico means. Right. It's not your real name. Your real name is Ephraim. What? That is who you are by blood. My sister Ari, you would call yourself black? I really am not. Okay, well, what's your race? My race? Yes. Bought here by my family. All right. But sold in the slave and bought. We gonna claim you. You Judah. That's right. <laughs> Now, all of us came over here on slave ships. Your people were shipped back overseas and was conquered by people that speak Spanish or Portuguese. So now y'all speak a different language than we do. Because we were conquered by two different people. All right, let's read this in Hebrews on what on, uh, verse 5 again. Read that again. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 5. What for? When he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin, thou had no pleasure. So that's what that's what was said when Christ came back. No more sacrifices. Guess who the sacrifice is now? We are. We are. 
You go to church? Um, no. You used to? I used to. Know. Yeah. So our people go to church, Catholicism, Catholic? Uh, I go to uh, the, sometimes the, the shelter. Okay. Understood. Understood. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we must present our bodies a living sacrifice. So when we read that law about women shouldn't wear pants, what should you do, mother? I already know that. I okay, well, why don't you follow it, huh? I'm following it like, as of this minute, I had an accident. Okay. And I have to change out. Okay. Understood. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I got you. I got another you. thing I got to say, everybody listen. Yes. You are supposed to repent of your sins. Yes. How do we repent of them? You ask Jesus Christ to intercede for you. Okay. Now, when we ask, what do we have to do? You are to repent. Admit your sins. Uh huh. Now, some people will say this. The Christian church on Sunday, they say, admit your sins. But they never tell you to keep the commandments, though. That's right. That I is how we repent. So, like, say, for instance, say, for instance, if I broke the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day, right? That's for some people. No, that's for the Bible, for God. Bible, right. I said for some people. Right. But is it by, by God's law, is today the Sabbath? No. Is today the seventh day of the week? Not a question I have to you have a question? Well, what if we just read it for you? How about we read it for you? Let's read the day. Read it. Verse 8. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. What day of the week? The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So what day did God say is the Sabbath? Seventh. Seventh day. So, and the definition of Sunday, the definition of Sunday is first day of the week. Right. So, look, religion, religion has lied. Right. Just like it lied to my our brother right here because he was going to church. It lied to you and it lied to me. Sunday is the first day of the week that has nothing to do with the Bible. It is actually the sun god that everybody is worshiping on Sunday. And our people, they go in there and they don't learn the commandments. The fourth commandment says, remember the Sabbath day. Why does it say, why does it say remember mother? Why does it say remember it though? On the seventh day, let me explain. On yes. the seventh day, Jesus rested. Uh -huh. All his labor. Okay. That's why we say the seventh day is the whole day. Let's, 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 get let's, let's, a rest. Uh-huh. Now, maybe get me wrong. Right now. So, I'm not the greatest Bible. No, no, and that's, and that's fine. That's why we're here. Because we read the Bible as it is written. If you go to church on Sunday, are you keeping the fourth commandment? All right. So now if you're not keeping the fourth commandment, are you worshiping another God? Yeah, you're following pagan. So that would mean you just broke the first commandment too. Thou shall not have no other God above me. That's what God said. So if you break the Sabbath, you just broke number one. Thou shall not uh, commit. You shouldn't be in idolatry bowing down to images. But ain't that what our people doing on Sunday with the cross in there? Right. They're wearing all kinds of different things. Now, but ain't the cross in there? Cross and everything else. Watch this. What does Christ, what does Jesus look like? Now we go. What does Jesus look like, my brother? He's a spirit, but wasn't he a man that was hung on a cross? Right. He was a natural man. But, but what did he look like when he was a natural man? That I all praises to the I most high. Know. Did he look like this? We never know what he looked like. Okay. So right. now, you see... Y'all worship a false image too. You just broke the commandments right. number two now. Yeah. Because in the Bible, it do tell you what he looked like. Right. What about number three? Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Yeah. See, when people... Now, how do we take the Lord's name in vain? According to the Bible, when you read Malachi, whenever you take the Lord's name in vain, you literally take the commandments and you don't do them. Right. Right. That's what Christian church is. Right. They have the commandments and they don't do them. Right. They take the Lord's name in vain. So when you break the Sabbath day, 
you just broke. Thou shalt not have no other God above me. You right. broke that law too. Thou shalt not worship another image. You broke that law too. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. You broke that too. Right. You just yeah. broke the first four commandments by breaking the Sabbath day. Right. Right. And our people in Sunday church don't understand that. Now I'm going to read it in the Bible for you. Because you said you have to go ask your pastor. He going to tell you you don't have to do that no more. But then you have to ask him. Why? Where in the Bible does it tell me to come together on the on Sunday, the first day of the week? So now watch this. Give me Peter. Let's read about Christ. Give me. I'm going to show you. Let's show the, let's show, no, Revelations. Let's show the image. So we'll show you what Christ looked like. So now when we say no one knows, that's false. Because he was a man. Am I right? Did he look like this? Do you know that for sure? Huh? All right, here we go. Now we're going to read it to you. We all learn it. Here we go. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is reveal. We're going to reveal Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible is about to do. Go ahead. Now read on down. Read on down. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. It was written to show unto God's servants. So whenever we say, oh, his image is not important, well, why was it written to show us then? Right. It just said it was written to show unto God's servants. Right. Aren't we the servants of God? Right. Right. So it was written for us then. Right. So then whenever somebody says that it's not important to know, that would mean that scripture is a lie then. Yeah. Because that just said it was written to show you who he was. So anybody that say it doesn't matter, they lied on the Bible. Right. That's Go right. ahead. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and sanctified it by the, his angels unto his servant John. He gave this image and these things to John to write down for the servants for today. In these last days. That's why it was written. So John was given this to give it to us. That's why we have the Bible now. Go ahead. Who bear record. He bear record. He wrote it down. Go ahead. Of the word of God. Uh -huh. And the testimony uh -huh. of Jesus Christ and all things that he saw. And everything John saw. So he was shown something to show us what it said. Read on down verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that what? That readeth. That is because our pastors will lie. Blessed is he that read. Now I'm going to show you what he looked like. Blessed is he that read. Read down. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What kind of hair did Christ have? <laughs> what kind of hair did he have? They said they yelling it in the truck now. So what kind? So the hair that Christ had, it was white and it was like wool, and it was like wool. What kind of people got woolly hair? Thank you. So wait, 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 wait. So is this, is this him then? No. Already that's not him. You see what I'm saying? Right. But ain't this the image that's in most of the churches? If you Google Jesus Christ online, you'll get this. You won't get a man that looks like us. Right. Yeah. What is that? Because it's a lie. And the that's pastors right. are pushing that lie. Watch this. That ain't it. That ain't all. It got, uh, it got more. Watch this. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes was like a flame of fire. Like red. Because right. his first miracle was turning water into what? Right. Wine. Wine. You think he poured it out or he drunk some? I didn't have to pour it out. He drunk it. You mean to tell me? Because some people in church will say it's a sin to drink. Really? Now watch this. But he made wine out of water. So you mean to tell me he made everybody at the banquet sin, not himself? Right. That doesn't make sense. Right. So he drunk some of it. Watch this. Go ahead. Hold on. Let's see, well, let's see what color he was. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? Bring it up. Like a penny. What color is penny? Copper. What color is it? Copper is a kind of brown color. It's a color of brown. It's a brownish color. Let's get that. Yes. Now it said his skin is brown like brass. Let's see what it, what else it say about the skin. As if they burned in a furnace. He was so dark he looked burned. <laughs> so so is this him then? You burn coppers Exactly. So is this him then? No. So it looked more like that. 
That's right. So Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. He was from the tribe of Judah, and in the Bible, the Jews are black people. Right. Ephraim. Y'all are black people too. Right. They called y'all Negroes too. Right. right here. We will be hung on this limb. Y'all will be hung on that limb I of the tree. To, I got to read that over. <laughs> you never heard that before, have you? Bro, they won't keep revelation. So why continue to go to a church where you know they won't teach it to you? Right. No. That is because our people have become comfortable with men. And God said that is a recipe for death. Because it's a tradition. Give me uh, Matthew 13 and 3. 15 3. Well, they have a mini buses coming now every 15 minutes now. Them. Why do you transgress the commandments of God by your tradition? Christ asked that. That's written in Why do you sin against God and break the commandments by tradition? Sunday worship is a tradition that's not of God. Christmas is a tradition that's not of God. Thanksgiving. Whenever we celebrate Thanksgiving, we celebrate the murder of our brothers. We celebrate the murder of our brothers. But we'll celebrate Thanksgiving and say we're thankful. Thankful for what? I'm not thankful that you killed 77 million of my brothers. Bring it out! But we'll do Thanksgiving because it's a tradition of men. Just like Sunday worship, a tradition of men, has nothing to do with God whatsoever. But then we say we love God. We say we worship God. But we worship the devil. All because we won't do what the Bible said, nor will we challenge our pastors to tell us the truth. Because we are literally out here in the street. You asked the question, we went straight to it. I bet your pastor can't do it. That's a t shirt. That's a t shirt. And we just read the first chapter to you. Watch this. This is another thing, really. Really, 2 and 9. Let's read that. Revelation 2 and 9. <laughs> Revelation 2 and 9. You can take your time. I know you got to get home, but watch this. You got to hear this stuff because you may not get another chance. Because you, did you get a flyer from us? Because on that flyer, you need to come and see us. We, 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 we right up the street three blocks away from her. We're four blocks away from her every Saturday. Every Sabbath of the week. We, we meet, she is open right now. Right now. Now we come and teach because we have to do what the Bible says as the prophets. We got to go to the streets and teach. And then we'll leave her and go be with our families. Watch this right here. Let's see what else is in Revelations. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So we are impoverished people. We're poor, but God said we rich. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy. The lies. Of them which say they are Jews. Ain't it people that say they're the Jews today? What they look like? They look like white people, ain't it? They, they not black. But so they Jew, look, they Jewish. Letting you know they ain't the real ones. So it said the ones that's claim. Now watch this. Let's see what what let's see what Christ called them. Go ahead. Which say they are Jews. And they are say they are Jews and are not. But they not the real Jews. But are the synagogue of Satan. They the church of the devil. That's right. And then we'll say not my Jesus when he just said a whole race of people is the devil. <laughs> well, listen, you got to come to the school to learn the basics or you're going to be confused when you read Revelations. Because watch, I got a question. Well, I got a question for you. Well, watch this. Does, is, is everybody going to be in the kingdom of heaven? Okay. Is, is, does every race have a chance to get into the kingdom of heaven? All right. Revelations chapter 21. Y'all read it? I'm going to show you. You've read it 20 times. You never understood this verse. Watch until today. We're going to read to you. Everybody ain't getting in. And that's written in Revelations. Watch this. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. And had a wall great and high. The kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. It's big. Go ahead. And had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. You thought it was one gate. No, you knew it was 12? I know. So I read that but never understood. <laughs> there you go. You thought it was one or 12 before that verse. You thought it was one. We just read it's 12 gates. See what I'm saying? Hold on. Here we go. My brother right here. How many gates is it to the kingdom of heaven? Yeah, come around. I want to talk to you. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and on and at the gates twelve angels, twelve angels, 
and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Wait a minute. It said 12 tribes of children of Israel, am I right? Is that what we just read? Watch this. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. If they not on this list, how they get in? When it just said it was for the 12 tribes of Israel. I mean, they can't get in. No, they won't be. It don't matter what they do. They not getting in. The the 12 tribes, it, well, my man, Ephraim. <laughs> yeah, Ephraim. Tell him come back. He walked out. He ain't, they ain't want to deal. Judah, we, American blacks are from the tribe of Judah. Jamaicans are from Benjamin. Haitians are from Levi. That's what we call Haitians there. That would be Moses today. Right. Paul would have been from the tribe of Benjamin. He would have been called Jamaican today. Christ would have been called an African American today. Right. But why don't why don't churches teach this? Why don't they teach with the real Jews? Yep. When the Bible just said the people that's claiming to be us are not the real ones. That's right. I read that somewhere. But yes, but why do you go to, you know why you haven't got the understanding in, other than today It's because you go to a pastor that don't care nothing about it and honestly he don't care about you Because if he did he would tell you the truth to save your life Because if you believe that everybody is going to the kingdom of heaven and you don't know you an Israelite You can't get in because it just said that the 12 gates is for the Israelites So if you going in there Lord, I'm an african-american you can't get in because that ain't what he called you. And you didn't know it, so now you're just going to be up there and you're going to be dead and burning forever. But that's what we do. And the Christian pastors are lying to our people because they are literally teaching the very same thing that the people that did to us did. So now we are slaves. Not only are were we slaves physically, now we have become slaves mentally because we won't do what the Bible said. Nation is men leading by example.